Two wildfires are torching everything in their past in California. North of Los Angeles, the so-called Hill Fire has engulfed more than 4,000 hectares. It has closed down parts of the freeway in both directions. And in the north of the state, thousands of residents raced from their homes as a so-called campfire exploded on Thursday. The out-of-control flames are growing about 80 football fields a minute. Several injuries have been reported, including two firefighters. Authorities say they are waiting for safer conditions before they can attempt any assessment of the damage. Charles Camborian was working in Chico, California, when the flames started engulfing his hometown in Paradise, about 14 miles away. He joins us now on the line. So, Charles, you and pretty much everyone else are from the town of Paradise have been evacuated, and you're staying with friends there in Chico, which, um, you know, do you have any idea at this point how long it'll be before you're allowed back into that fire zone? Do you know at this point if you still have a house? Um, you know, that's a great question. Thanks for having me on, John. It's... Um really up in the air right now because all the reports I'm reading online are saying that paradise has been wiped out and destroyed. So I wow. see certain pictures of, of, you know, like popular landmarks like, you know, McDonald's or something like that, and it's just flattened. So when we talk about the entire, the entire place is just not, no longer there, like how many people, what was, what, what was the population of paradise? Population of Paradise is about 27,000, and there's also Megalia, which is um, really close to um, the city. They pro most likely they evacuated as well. Maybe another five to 10,000 people, and it's kind of hard to leave Paradise because there's only three roads in, and two of the three were already shut down. So you're trying to siphon thousands of people into one road. It's really yeah, a mess. Because we're looking at some of the images um, which uh, you recorded of the evacuation, and, and the officials themselves actually said uh, getting out of paradise was quite difficult, and your wife in particular had a fairly harrowing experience, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so she there, she didn't even know they were, they were supposed to evacuate at one point. The only reason why she knew is because she walked outside and there was this ash coming down like rain just everywhere, and it was so dark outside. So she gathered up the kids and got some of our valuables, left, and... Um, she mentioned that the road that she tried to get out of, it was just a wall of flames. There was no way she was getting through there. So she turned back around and, and tried to get out of um, the main road, which is called Skyway. And she said that the, you know, the trees were just in, uh, like up in flames. There was flames hitting the windshield as she was leaving. It was a horrible experience for my son and for my kids and everything. Crazy. It, it, it sounds terrifying. Uh, just very quickly, Charles. Um, each year these fires seem to get worse. Uh, are you at the point yet, especially if, if there's nothing left in paradise, of just think, thinking, well, maybe we've got to find another part of the state or the world or, you know, to go live because this is just too dangerous. Um, yeah. to you know, my, part of the my wife grew up there. You know, she's... Um, so and they've been up there almost 40 years with my in-laws. Never has this ever happened like this before. It's just such an amazing storm that's unfortunately taken out the whole town. Um... So I don't know. Good question. I don't know if we'll rebuild or go somewhere else, but it's a beautiful yeah. town. It was beautiful. Well, hopefully it still is. Again. But yeah, I, I, I understand the pessimism that, that uh, maybe nothing has survived because these fires have been so bad. But Charles, we wish you, we wish your family all the best. At least you are safe. Which is Thank you, John. Thing. Take care. You too. Thank you. Let's go over to Derek Van Dam now, CNN Metologist with all the details. I mean, you, when you hear those stories about, you know, it's only property, but you know, it's everyone's life, it's memories, it's everything you own, and it's all just gone. Yeah, it's heart-wrenching to hear some of the stories. In fact, uh, one story that I read online was uh, about a woman and her family evacuating the campfire uh, region in, in Paradise and, and hearing propane tanks just exploding in the background as she was trying to evacuate her family. Uh, look at the plume of smoke from the campfire and how quickly it continues to spread. We picked something up on our GO-16 satellite imagery. This is one minute satellite updated imagery and I want you to pay attention to uh, not only the timestamp on the top right part of your corner, uh, uh, corner of our TV screen but look at how quickly that smoke moves to the coast. This is about 200 kilometers away from Paradise 
And uh, if you do the math, the fire started at roughly 6 a.m. in the morning. That took about six hours to travel 200 kilometers. So winds there easily gusting anywhere between 30 to 40 kilometers per hour. So that is the main factor here in elevating our fire threat across the uh, Sacramento Valley, all the way down the Central Valley, all the way towards Ventura County, where we have other f active fires. Low humidity and the lack of rainfall. We talk about that so frequently in California with uh, drought conditions continuing. High wind threat continues today for the areas that uh, have some of the ongoing fires. That's why the National Weather Service has red flag warnings for the Sacramento Valley region all the way down to Los Angeles. Now, the campfire was spreading so quickly, it was equivalent to spreading an entire football field or consuming an entire football field every second. I mean, that is massive, rapid growth of a fire. And uh, firefighters were doing their absolute best to extinguish the flames, including several uh, tanker uh, Boeing 747s, which you can actually see some of the flight paths in and around the Paradise region trying to douse the flames. Uh, this is one of those 747s putting flame retardant on the uh, Hill Fire in Ventura County. Uh, that's the other uh, fire that we're actually monitoring. That one's still over 4,000 hectares. So the fire threat continues, we know that, but these are two definitely serious fires that we're gonna monitor for the next days ahead, John. Derek, thank you. You mentioned that fire in Ventura County. Let's go take a look at that now live. The time in Los Angeles is 9.40 in the evening, and you can see these flames are just uh, terrifyingly spectacular. Uh, this is what's known as the Woolsey Fire. It's one of the many fires which uh, the crews there have been battling and will be battling by lots of things throughout the night.